So, Nick, obviously a tough one to take on Saturday against Sydney FC. Um, can you just talk us through about what's been said the past couple of days in terms of morale, in terms of just team messaging, just to try and get us over what was obviously a tough result? Oh, it's always tougher when you lose a game at home. We've had a really good home record. Unfortunately, the other night just wasn't our night. But you know, when you reflect on the game and you look at the stats, um, you know we had every stat in, in our favour. But what we didn't have is is being clinical in the box. And if anything, the the basics let us down. You know, not getting tight enough in the box and allowing people to shoot. And you got a quality player like the Fondra played in the Premier League. If you give him time and space in the box, he's he's going to punish you. Um, and he's had a tough season this year. I, I, know, I know him. He's a good uh, a good lad. Uh, so yeah, look, it was it was it was it was his and their night, and it wasn't our night. And I think the chances that we had, um, you know, Benny hitting the bar early on, Lewis Miller um, probably could have could have scored as well. So going in at half time, one nil down. I thought second half we started the game really well. We had a couple of opportunities, a couple of good saves from 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 t Tommy Bell. But yeah, we just you know we gave away some some poor goals. But like I said to the boys, you know, been on a, a one one defeat in eight, been on a, a fantastic run. Really proud of them. Sometimes you have their nights, it's just not your night, but I think the results around the league have been pretty sporadic in terms of teams losing and by high scores winning high scores. So, yeah, look, it's probably got to do with, you know, with, with a, a culmination of everything. Um, but it's one game, we knock it on the head. We, you know, we, we looked at a, a lot of positives from the game um, in terms of a lot of the, the, the good play that we had, but we just lacked, uh, you just lacked that final touch in both boxes so yeah nothing nothing different and yeah the morale's good good session yesterday and when we prepare for for wonders tomorrow night do you see it as like an advantage the fact that it's only a short turnaround you don't have to dwell on that result you can kind of get it out of the way and now focus on another game and on the wonders game tomorrow yeah it looks always good to, to, to have another game um and and, and a little, little setback and now now it's a good opportunity you know going to wonders we're going to be a good physical team um, and, and yeah it's always it's always a good place to play there's a fantastic stadium down there and and yeah I say it's uh, you know we've got six games to go and we're going to give everything for, for the next six games and with obviously a tight turnaround between the Sydney game and the fact that we're now trailing to Wellington as well do you look to use this game as a chance to rotate the squad by any chance because some of the boys who have been feeling a lot of it especially boys like Josh and Isbeth in the midfield who have been doing a lot no, look, to be honest, you know, I see how the boys pull up and, and yeah, like I said the other night, it could 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 make excuses, not gonna make excuses. So, you know, the boys have been very good with quick turnarounds and, and yeah, look, I'll assess the squad today and you know, make the change if I feel necessary. Um and, and, and yeah, you know, I'll always go with what I feel my gut gut feeling is for the game and, and, and yeah, right now the boys have pulled up well. It's been a couple of extra days to, to, to normal and, and yeah, Saturday, Wednesday game is normal, so yeah, we'll 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 uh, assess today and, and, and I'll make a decision probably tomorrow. And just on the Wanderers, it's been a long time since we've played them all the way back. It's more or less the last game before uh, COVID hit again. Um, how have you seen their form at the moment? You know, they've been a bit stop-start and at Combank it's always a tough place to go. But if the Mariners were to get a result, it would be the first time in the club's history that they get two wins on the bounce against the Wanderers. So how do you see their form at the moment? And the game's going to go. Yeah, look, they've got a, a really good squad. Um, you know, they're, they're physical, they're aggressive, and, and we don't expect, any, expect anything different. So, look, again, I think everyone's form has been a little bit indifferent and, and patches of good form and, and, and bad form. And you see now with six games to go that, that anything's, you know, anything can happen and everybody's fighting to get in that top six. So, yeah, it's, you know, every game from now to the end of the season is going to be, going to be a battle and it's going to be a battle tomorrow night and we don't expect anything different.